Experiments are the language of science. This essay has been submitted by Devika R. Nair of the 9th Standard. Devika studies in Vivekananda Kendra Vidyalay, Arunachal Pradesh. Experiments are the language of science. Science is a systematic and logical approach to how things work in the universe. It refers to a system of acquiring knowledge. It builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about the universe. It is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. It is well said that the science of today is the technology of tomorrow. This system uses observations and experiments to describe the natural world. In short, we say that science is organized knowledge and that wisdom is an organized life. We are living in a scientific era. Science has changed our lives altogether. It has entered every sphere of our lives. From an early age, people started to observe and experiment their own surroundings and tried to verify the cause and effects to learn about their nature. An experiment is a question which science poses to nature and a measurement is a recording of nature's answer. Science is also described as a systematic classification of experiments. Science is a reasonable enterprise based on experimental evidence, criticism and rational discussion. Experiments provide the knowledge of the physical world and it is the experiment that provides the evidence which grounds that knowledge. Correct theories of nature are an important goal of science. Nevertheless, experiments can also provide good reasons for believing in theories. Experiments can also call for a new theory, either by showing an accepted theory is incorrect or by exhibiting a new phenomenon which needs an explanation. Scientific experiments promote the development of scientific thinking and help us to understand things and the world around us. It promotes new discovery and learning. As we know, it is a complex world and there are many things that could be influencing phenomena, but in reality, only a fraction of those things actually do. Scientific experiments systematically identify those few things. So, experiments are called the language of science as they are at the core of scientific methods. Experiments are a special kind of observation, that is to interrogate nature in a specific kind of way. But experimental investigations are a great thief of time costing many days to determine a fact that can be stated in a line. By using experiments, we aren't doing anything fundamentally different. We are still observing what nature has to tell us about the world we inhabit. But we are trying to set up conditions that are meant to clarify what nature is saying. In this view, we can say that experiments are nature's interpreters. Success is a science. If you have the conditions, you can get the result. Science is the great antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. Research through experiments are formalized curiosity. It is poking and prying with a purpose. Experiments may have come to be thought of as the defining feature of science, but they are really just a special case of something we do every day. Observe the world around us. As nature's speech therapist, experiments become the language of science.